of structure. Okay, well, the structure of what? Basically, it is a structure consisting of, it's a structure that consists of sentences. So argument in the everyday sense, discussion, quarrel, argument in the philosophical the sense that we're using it here, it's going to be a structure or uh, sentences, something uh, along those lines. And so what I want to do in the next few minutes is to unpack a little bit more as to what we mean by that. Now, notice I say structure, not just a collection or a gathering. In other words, it's a very specific kind of organization of sentences. So an argument is a, a specific structure that puts sentences together in a certain way. So it's not just a random thing. So we're quite a ways away now from a discussion or a quarrel, which can be entirely open, random, many people involved, two, three, whatever. We're talking now about a linguistic structure, right? Consisting of sentences that's organized in a very particular way. That's how we work in, in philosophy and in other academic disciplines as well. We write arguments. Now, what, uh, uh, what are we, we talking about when we talk about arguments as well? Well, I said that they're not discussions or quarrels. Also, an argument is not true or false. You don't have true and false arguments. That doesn't make any sense. You'll see a little bit later uh, why that's the case. But just for now, arguments are not quarrels, they're not fights, they're not discussions, and you don't say an argument is true or false. That is, a, is an improper way to speak of arguments when you're talking about them academically as a structure namely of, of collection of uh, an organized collection of sentences. All right, what are they then? Well, they're structures, organized collection of sentences, and we say that they are valid, invalid, sound, and good. So what we've got here is that an argument is a very specific organization of sentences, that is a specific structure, and we say sometimes they're valid, they're invalid, they're sound, or they're good. We don't think of them as discussions, quarrels, and not true and false. That doesn't apply to them. Well, let's keep going now. With this, we have the, the, the basic element of the argument is the sentence. Okay. So think of that as your element, your building block. That's the element, the elements of uh, arguments are sentences. So if those are your building blocks, let's have another look at them. So what exactly are these things we call sentences? Well, as you know, sentences are basically uh, uh, grammatical units. They have a subject. And a predicate. A sentence typically is a grammatical unit that says something about the world. And sentences, for our purposes, because we're not doing uh, a course in grammar, we could spend a lot of time talking about sentences then and break them down in different ways. But for us, sentences are going to come in three basic kinds. The three basic kinds of sentences that we're going to talk about look like this. First and most important, what are called contingencies. And contingencies are, are sentences that can be true or false. Remember, arguments are not true and false. But the elements of arguments, sentences, these can be true or false. So contingencies, these are sentences that say something basically about the world. Simple one. Uh, Joe is uh, uh, two meters tall. The cat is on... 
cat is on the mat. Very simple sentences like that. They say something about the world and they can be true or false. You could say, oh, Joe is two meters tall. And then you go have a look at Joe and measure you. Yeah, he's two meters tall. Um, or it's false that he's two meters tall. You say, no, actually he's a little shorter than that or a little taller. Or think about this, the cat is on the mat. The, that might be true, but if the cat gets up and moves, then that sentence becomes false. So these are contingent. That just means that they say something about the world and when the world changes, whether or not they're true or false, that can change as well. Philosophers have, have a big interest in these kinds of sentences because this is basically the kinds of sentences that work uh, for us when we're trying to build up knowledge because knowledge is essentially a way to try and say as many uh, true things as we can about the world. So all of this will link together, but keep in mind, arguments aren't true and false. Arguments are valid, invalid, sound, and good. We haven't explained what that means yet, but just keep in mind that true and false, that applies to sentences. Well, we have three basic kinds sentences uh, of, of sentences. First is contingencies. 